Hi everyone, it's Miss Anna from Wilmore Rudolph and I'm here today with my daughter Zoe. Hi. And we are going to show you how to make a fun activity of something that we had in our kitchen cabinets. We are going to use some cornstarch, which is right here. And, and then water. Some water. All right. This can get a little messy, but the cleanup is easy. Cornstarch is usually pretty easy to clean up, but we are using a messy mat on the table. And you can also use like a place mat or put some newspaper down. Uh, we're gonna be mixing the ingredients in the container, this container, but sometimes it falls out or drips a little bit. But like I said, it usually dries and cleans up pretty well. And it, when you um, touch it, it freezes. And when you like stops, it turns to liquid again. Yep, so it goes from a solid to a liquid. You are gonna see how that works too. So I have my cup measures here. Our recipe is gonna call for one cup cornstarch, and then it's gonna call for a half a cup of water. All right, so first we're gonna mix our cornstarch in. Now we'll try to be, try for the best of our abilities to, <laughs> it's a little crazy a little bit. All right, we'll pat it down a little bit here. So I'm gonna put it back in. Okay, thanks. Thank okay, put the lid back on, thank you. So we do wanna put that. Yeah. So at this point, you might wanna have your child touch the cornstarch. How does it feel? Is it soft? Is it hard? Is it wet? Is it cold? Is it prickly? Ask them some questions, talk to them about how it feels and give them the opportunity. One thing you can ask them is, would you like a turn to put this in? And what we work on at Rudolph is, you can signal my turn. Sometimes the kids will raise their hand. Sometimes they'll say, I want a turn, or they'll just smile. And so you say, okay, I'm gonna give you a turn. Why don't you put our one cup of cornstarch in? Sometimes you gotta tap the back. Oh, it's messy. See how it's like, not so bad. Yeah. And it also like, it looks like how does it feel, Zoe? Does it feel soft? It Is it wet? Smooth and soft. smooth. Is it? It feels smooth and soft. Sharp? Is it prickly? It's no, smooth, smooth and soft. Ah. So in this recipe, we're gonna use some food coloring. So what we are gonna do first is we're gonna put the food coloring in this container of water, and we'll mix it up in this container of water before. We pour it into our half cup measuring cup mm -hmm. and put it in with the cornstarch because sometimes what happens is we'll hold the water over and we'll pour the coloring in and it spills all over the place or it will spill all over the table. So I think this might be our best way of minimizing the mess. Yeah. So the, I'm gonna show you a few different ways in which you can engage and ask your child what color they want. So Zoe, what color do you want? Red. Red, can you find the red in there? Very good. Now Rudolph, we use, we talk about eye gaze and that's when the child looks at the color that they want. So Zoe, this is another way that she can show me. Zoe, which color do you want? Do you want the yellow or the red? Zoe's looking at the red, so that's telling me that, indicating that she wants the red. And how about I can put it in front of you? She grabbed the red. Very good. Or I could say, do you want the yellow? No. Or you could just have a frowny face. Or do you want the red? Yes. Or you could even smile. There you go. So those are a few different ways that they can indicate what color they want to use. So Zoe wants to use the red. So we're going to put, how many dots in here do you think we should put? How many drops? Seven. Seven, all right. So one, two, two three, four, five, six, six seven. seven. So let's take a look at that. It's kind of Whoa. swirl around a little bit. It's color changing. It's, yeah, it is. Hold on, we'll mix it, it in here a little like bit. It looks like a cherry color. It does look like a cherry color. Do, do you think that uh, this color, do, do you want more? I like it and I think it's when you put it in there and stir it, it's gonna turn pink. Okay, well that's a possibility. If you want it to be a darker red, you'll wanna add more drops of food coloring in. Zoe obviously wants pink. So let's see what happens. So we get our half a cup measure. Can you find the half a cup measure on this? Half a cup. 
That would be the one slash two. One slash two, right All here. All right, very good. Now will you hold, why don't you hold this? Okay, over, hold it over. There we go, and I'm gonna pour the water in there so that uh, I have the control. I'm gonna suggest to you that the adult in charge should do the pouring of the water into the cup measure over the cornstarch. Uh, my personal experience, if the child pours it in, the child pours the water in, uh, they'll overflow it everywhere. If it's not over the cornstarch, it's just gonna make a big mess. So I'm gonna be the adult in charge here. So Zoe, let's hold it over the cornstarch. This is our half a cup measure. We're gonna pour it in. Okay, go ahead. Oop. <laughs> oh, cool. It's pink. Almost not yet. We gotta mix it up. So hold on. So let's so oops, grab let's this. Grab our spoon. Pour this. Yep, that yep, that's our spatula. Mix that up. Now sometimes it can be a little rough to mix this up. Like it's oh, doesn't yeah. stir really well and sometimes yeah. and it's hard to stir. Dirt. We're gonna have to put our hands in there and, and do it. And I'll show you what, how it, oh, mom, can you do it? It looks, it's pretty hard. Okay, as you can see, it gets hard. So mm -hmm. we've gotta try our best to stir it up. Mm -hmm. And you can and you wanna make sure that, it. yeah, well, the, the starch gets mixed up really well in there. I'm gonna touch it. We'll just relax for a minute. And that's honestly, that is your choice, Please whether you want to touch it or not. So, I want to touch so hold on, <laughs> Zoe, hold on, wait a second. I'm gonna, we gotta mix it up really well because there's a possibility that we might need some extra water. And that's also yeah. why it's a good idea to have some extra water as I do in this container next to me. And you should, um, when you're holding the measuring spoon for this, you should do hand over hand with your child. <laughs> yes, hand over hand. Very good, Zoe. Because that helps. So they don't drop it. Yes, and so they're still being involved in the process of making it, but you're helping them. It's not you making it. It's very important when we do these projects oh. that everybody works together and that the kids are actively involved in mixing in any way that they can be. And I understand not all kids can be actively involved and do everything, but just being able to touch it, being able to do hand over hand, hand over hand. Zoe, let's demonstrate what a little hand over hand is. So, okay, so like. So Zoe's holding this. Here, hold on, relax. This hand? Yeah, so here she's holding it and I am holding it with her and we're doing it together. Sometimes maybe she can't hold on, so she might hold have my hand and we're pouring that in like that. So she is still in the motion of making the mm -hmm. oublet. All right, go ahead, Zoe. <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, this is really soft. And so let me hold this up here. It's soft and slimy. So it's wet. Do you see how it's, it's dripping? And it's slimy. But at the same time, it becomes a salad. Yep, and it's so, all on my hand right now. How, see how it's solid, and then it drips down. Uh, ah! In there. And, and one thing you can do is you can hide some toys in there. So, what, yeah. did you want to put some of your so toys I'm in there? So, some of my hatch molds. Okay. And I'm going to actually. I feel like and so she's trying to bury her toys in there by lifting up oh, and dripping it yeah, in. And if you don't like the consistency or you're not getting the consistency that you want, you can always, if it's too wet, add a little bit, a little bit at a time of the cornstarch. And if it's too dry, a little bit at a time of the water. It so quickly changes consistency. So uh, I can't see mine. So, okay, so, so here we have we have her her little toys are in there. So she's gonna dig in there and she's gonna try to find them. Is it over here? No, it's over here. No, in here. I don't know. We'll see. I found one. So if it gets dirty, 
and um, maybe after and this cleans up it. very easily if things get dirty you don't yeah. worry about it so another thing that you can do say your child's not as active as Zoe is so Zoe give me your hand so I'm just holding her hand and I'm dripping it on her hand and you can say things like okay try to get it off your hand try to get it off you know and they can try to get it off try to get it off or oh there you go there you go there you go and this is how much left is on and i will say sometimes the kids don't necessarily like this project and the adults like it a little bit more so this actually might be a little good therapy for anyone who's at home or anyone who's a caregiver they might really enjoy this i know at work everybody enjoys this project and I actually done it at school, so it's really easy to make at school and home. All right. Um, I think we are done mm -hmm. for the day. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed making Ooblick. Mm -hmm. And if you have any questions uh, at Wilmer Rudolph Learning Center, you will see it's afwaldron at gmail.com. Please email me any questions that you have and I will do my best. I will get back to you as soon as I can. And if you have any suggestions about other projects that you think would be great for us to do, I would love to do those for you. Okay. So have a great day and uh, I miss you guys. Okay. Stay well. Bye. Bye. Bye.